Hey, it's Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. Wanted to follow up with you a little bit on Dr. Oz's segment, which was a follow up on his fall segment on thyroid cancer and its relation to radiation, especially in the dental profession and the medical profession. Medical, I believe it was more on the mammograms, but you know my focus is on the dental profession, so let's go there. Conventional dental films, which are the films we used to use years ago, put them through a developer, it takes forever to get these films back. It takes about 16 to 20 of these films to equal a day in the sun. Now I gotta tell you, I usually take four bot wings on you per year, maybe every two years if you're at a low caries risk. So let's just go with a number of a year. So if I take them on you every year, it's gonna take you four years to equal 16 films. One thing I would encourage you to do is ask your dental practice if they're using digital, tech digital technology. Digital technology, get this, it reduces the radiation amount by 60, 60 to 90, 90 percent. That is key, key. The other thing I encourage you to ask for is to make sure when they place the lead apron over you that they have a thyroid guard and it goes around your neck. Now there are some practices that don't have that thyroid guard. Go ahead and ask for one. It's only like 25 bucks to purchase. So I mean it should be something that's easily affordable for the doctor and also it helps to protect the thyroid with these low doses of radiation. Here's the key. Thyroid cancer, it is hereditary. It's four times more prevalent in women, generally over the ages of 45, and especially they're finding it over the age of 60. Now, it's about radiation exposure and the radiation dose. So in dentistry, we're looking at super small doses, especially with digital. So I hope this helps you understand. I've had some patients really concerned with dental x-rays and they didn't want them taken. First, it's about the amount. So please know this is about protection and we can't see in between the teeth can't see underneath your gums. So we've got to have an aid or a system and this is the technology to do this. I hope this helps you out. Till next Wednesday, take what you learn and make a difference with it.